because my family wanted me to be. Now mm -hmm. there's a girl that I've always known her life. Now, she, now she's widowed. Even with a church, a pastor, a church in our country here, went to meet his first love after his wife passed. Yes, so you know, in this our church love here. was waiting so patiently. These things happen where marriage is dissolved for different reasons. Theirs mm -hmm. is because the wife passed on, but mm -hmm. there are different reasons why a 30 year old marriage and say, you know what, it's time for me to go and find peace, mm -hmm. yeah. tranquility, and I enjoy the, my remaining 25, 25 years on this earth, you know. So any comments before we wrap up? No, the uh, comments are not loading yet. But I, you know, think, I think she has just uh, gone to find peace. So she has, yeah. She's tired. Mm -hmm. um, they, I, I believe the story is that they've been separated for a while. So they've just made it formal. You know, Waiki, I was telling somebody, I was counseling a young person over the weekend. And I used an example on this because this woman was very active in church. She was mm -hmm. very involved when it comes to it. She's been on our show. Um, to support um, widows. She's been a, she has a huge <coughs> foundation that supports widows and, and stuff like that. And sometimes when you see a lot of women who are very active, they are finding coping mechanisms mm. to these kind of situations. Mm. So when you see somebody who is extremely dedicated, they are, they are with church meeting, they are there morning, activities. they are just finding activities, sometimes because they are having issues. Mm. Because many oh, people no. who, are, who are very blissful marriages, Many of them are down in Jamaica, they are going to Bahamas, they Something. come back, they, 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 do church, they, they, do church <laughs> they do church for a few weeks again and they go again. Yes, with their but husband. Those who are just there, sometimes they are always, I'm just giving them an mm, right. These women are there because they are, they are way of coping mm. with the issues. They are, they are staying power mm. for 30 years. Yeah. That's why a woman mm. like that will stay because church has kept her busy. Yes. The mosque is keeping her busy. So she's not leaving. She will just stay. Mm. After a while, you just decide, you know what, nothing can hold me here. Yeah. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's wrap up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it also depends on the, the, how your deal breaker has been hit. So, you know, you mentioned something that why don't they, the house is big enough for everybody to mind their business in the mansion. Mm. You face your front, I face my front. Exactly. We co-parent with the children yeah. and then we go about our businesses. But what if this person's character, you cannot stay in the same space because mm. of how hit their actions have been to you. You will not want mm. to be in that same space. And there was something I was, you know, we we're talking about when we we're dating. And one of the things that stood out for me is, if anything happens and love flies out of the window, can I live with you as a roommate? Mm. No, not even as a roommate. Can, can our character mm. match? Or are we compatible in such a way that we can be as neighbors and be as friends and not have issues? There's no love again. And be civil to one another. Mm. Can we get to that point? Are we that kind of person, yeah. uh, that, that, uh, that kind of people to stay in that space? And once I was able to check that box, I knew that, okay, no matter what happens, we will be able to stay as friends. Yeah. But sometimes, some people's character will not even allow you. In fact, the yeah. niceness you even got small was because they felt they loved you. Once that niceness, mm. that love goes, you will not see the real person. Mm. So if spot. you happen to have that kind of person, it will just be easy for you to, mm, please, I want my peace. Be going. Let me, Let me just... take BC. Good BC from Walter. Thanks for calling. <laughs> oh, my namesake again. Good morning. You're live. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Murai. I can't hear you. BC, go ahead. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Mm. YK, welcome back, oh, Grandma. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad to be back. Please, I, please, I want to contribute. I, what we are talking about this morning is something that if you are not in, you may not you may not be able to understand. Yeah. The woman has tried. Men are very nasty. Especially when they are getting older. They have very nasty attitudes. It's not all women that can. Most women stay in these marriages because of financial um, challenges. Mm. You know? Women will be there doing everything for them. But the, more, the more they get older, the more they become more nasty mm. in their attitude. Scary. I have advocated. Mm. Look, I have advocated once that if I'm able to come to this life again, I will get married. But we stay on my own. The man will stay. So when we are tired, when you are tired of me, you go. When when you need me, you come. When I need you, I come. That's my contribution. So don't let us blame the woman. Good morning. Thank you very much. I'm not happy to not hear that. Let us yes. analyze. Thank you. Not all men are like that. <laughs> Please. Mm. Really good men. <laughs> yes, there, there are some good men, but I, um, I just want to say, because with, I, I'm not the kind of person I can't endure. You know, if you're not good for me, you're not good for me, I'm gone. Mm. You can beg me, beg me, uh, pata pata, three years, I will, I will move. I can't. I can't endure for 30 years. There mm. is no way. There is no way. Eh? 
Because, you see, when you find women like that, they, you, their faces will be pinched, they are looking miserable, they are, they are very bitchy mm. to fellow women. Mm. Because, so, I cannot endure that kind of endurance. So, I, I advise women, if it's not working for you, Let's take a step. Quickly, exactly. like mm. Kemi says, maybe you stay here, I stay. Yeah. That's yeah. if the men are civil, they're not yeah. all not Exactly. So I was going to say, you know, you made a point about, you know, knowing the sort of person that you are with. It's not everyone that has like an amicable civil separation. Yes, some people, because you are in that situation, they will make sure that your every breathing moment is tortured and they would, yeah. you know, it's hell. They will put you through. For you to even think that you can live without me, I will make sure you, everything in your life is on, you know, is it, not good. You, there's nothing left for you to enjoy. So in that case, you will step out. Of, you will run far away. In your life. You know, because um, I remember once someone was saying that um, they met, he met someone who was going through a divorce. And that the way he was talking about his wife, that he was about to divorce, that he was in shock. Like, this is not, in fact, as a person, he's not a, an angry person. How did it change? He was like, no, there are some things that happened during that period that you just want to be, the, you are the worst to each other. Mm. So maybe that is where they were. I don't even want to see you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want your aura in my space. I beg just believing. Let me if, take this call from Amin Asklan from Lokoja. I'm going to wrap up on this now. I mean, are you alive? <coughs> right. Both the time to get in touch. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please, I'm very happy for this discussion this morning. This, but I'm a first time caller, by the way. Welcome to the show. I am in the, I am in the same situation. I've been 20 years now in my marriage. And I've been living just the way this is said, like, can you live with somebody that you're in, but you can tolerate certain attitudes just for the sake of the children? Because I'm living in my marriage now, just to tolerate him, but the attitude, I can't continue. But I'm enduring because I don't, I children. when this is the outsider, will be like, why oh, don't you leave these children and who is going to take care of them? Who do you know this? Who is the children who supports you? All these things are things I'm frustrated I was in the first, but because I have moved, I'm still saying the marriage of 20 years and I'm willing, I'm hoping mm. I can do that. Okay. Wow. Mm. I didn't hear everything she said. I mean, I was saying she's 20 years of marriage. Yeah. She's trying to see how she wants to leave mm -hmm. and she, she doesn't know what's going to happen with the children, who's going to raise these kids. Um, and that's her work. She's been enduring it for 20 years. Mm. And she would like to leave. She seems so young. I yeah, mean, she's not her voice. She like sounds really, really young. So, so that, that's why I'm trying to also be, have this conversation and normalize these kind of conversations because um, many women endure for different reasons. So it's not, it's not about I think not financial. Women, men too. Yeah, men and women also. So there is, there's not only financial. It's the stability of the home. Your kids have a, have a home, father, mother figure. And we have, we have we told that, listen, you need that stability for the kids to have a good, um, um, to have a good upbringing. Do and you? ask me a question. Yes. If I'm <clears throat> staying with you yeah. because of the stability of the children, mm -hmm. and inside that house, we, me and you are fighting like cat and every rats day. every day. The children are not How going stable to be stable. The children? They yeah. will not be able. So you have to weigh the options. If the... Um, even if we don't fight, we don't talk. Mm. And when we talk to each other, we talk. We, Mikey, look. Uh, even, when it's silent, even when it's silent Why treatment, the children can tell yes. Yes. that there's no love. Exactly. Yes. Mikey, that, that, that was what mm. I was going to say. Yes. It doesn't have to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be. There are some be. fantastic fathers. They are great. In fact, they, they are very careful not to even fight in front of the children. Mm. They will fight inside the room, yeah. but they will be emotionally damaging you, and you'll be there, and nobody knows. Yeah. Only mm. you and your spirit and your God mm. your know you're going know. to. The kids might not know. They, they will know. They do. They will <laughs> know. Let, 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 children me are so let me tell you, I, I, my children know. When, when I was younger, I, I had this friend. She was like, she was my best friend, you know, and I used to go to her mm. house, and the father, obviously. Did not like the mother. Ew, obviously, you know, somebody you don't like. No, it turned. Um, Any reasons? And when he came home, when I would enter the house, the mother was also nice. Mm. You no, know, I'm kidding. When 
the father entered, the whole house changed. The atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Atmosphere Change. changed. And the man, he will just come. Mm. She will greet him. Ah, daddy. He will never even answer. Ew. Yeah, he will not even I answer. Save us from those kind of unions. It, it was so horrible. But I, even when I come, I greet the man. Ah, good. Mm. <laughs> when the woman will travel for summer holidays, he will bring his girlfriend. Ah, hi. We were seeing it. Oh. The children were seeing it. Oh. When you come into the house, hey, how are you? You'll be happier. Happy. You'll be happy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> when you blame so, a man like that to say, I want to find happiness. I'm done with this marriage. Let him go now. You should find no, a man like that. Them should go. So, yeah, she should, should separate. separate. That's what she did. Mm. When my friend went about, she didn't come back. The son went about, she didn't run away. Didn't, yeah, just because that was away. not a home anymore. That's one. Children run away. Yeah. And that was the end okay. of that marriage. Let me mm. take this She call. managed... Ah, no. <laughs> let, me, let me go on a break. I, I, I wanted also to wrap up because I wanted to take a note. So it looks like... But let's take a few... Uh, let's go on a short break. When we come back, we just wrap up on this. Stay with us to break back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Every morning is an opportunity to take your hustle to the next level. Every morning is one day closer to your ambition. So, make every morning count. Cup after cup, morning after morning. New Nivea Dry Deodorants. With 72-hour reliable odor protection from Dual Effect Formula. For a dry and fresh skin feeling. Mm. Feel dry, fresh and confident every day. Entertainment means to me as in Nigeria, as an Africa, is in our music, is in our art, is in our culture, is in the Bakadan. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities, right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues and last but not the least a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate and yes you guessed it women so if you catch the drift then you're on to something 
We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports. Staying in marriage is that, okay, yes, maybe the kids can sense it. But they have chosen just to keep quiet. So maybe he doesn't allow you to have a phone. Mm. He doesn't allow you to, doesn't give <coughs> money. He gives you, you know, he's very, very overbearing mm. in everything he does with you. He has sort of, cow you've been coward mm. into being, the, he's being, being, being a shadow of your own self, mm. in your own home. Mm. When you go outside, you have a, you have a nice, oh, Mrs. Lagbaja. Mm -hmm. When you're in your house, you're nothing. You're working on eggshells. Yeah, working on eggshells. Yeah. So, 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 and people are thinking, okay, at least your kids are growing up. Mm, he's not beating he's, you. He's not beating you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are, you are living in a mansion. Mm. You are traveling. You are coming back and forth. Mm. So what exactly is your problem? So, let me talk so that's why women are saying, let me cook and endure Yo. till the end. At least so, I have so, a home. So, so let me touch on that. You know, when we talk about abuse, the abuse we see most of the time is the physical abuse mm. where they are giving you bath boots. You are carrying black eye and wearing dark glasses <laughs> and hiding and you know, lying that you were the one that hit yourself when you were walking towards the door. You did not see the door. That's not all about abuse they, there are some abuses that are very subtle in the way that compassion is taken away from you so they may not be shouting and screaming in the house but you, you are a, as a woman you are not free to express you cannot talk to daddy wa. you cannot you know do anything that you want to do you do not have a life of your own once daddy wa comes back the atmosphere like she just mentioned changes everybody just no there's no love Daddy Wa does not use nice words. Daddy mm. Wa does not hug you, peck you. Mm. You know, the children don't see any form of love. They don't see it's love. still a form of abuse. Mm. Because now the children grow up in such an environment, absorbing all those things, and then they translate it into further relationships when they grow, mm. thinking that that is the life. That is how a, uh, that's how my father, exactly. that was how my father was. So that you was have, how my this was. Yeah, so you so have a head. daughter mm -hmm. who would seek a man who doesn't love or validate yes. her because that's what she saw that's what as she saw growing up. Her self-esteem yeah, is damaged. Yes. yes, because it's damaged. The, the, it, it, there can be silent treatment. Silent, I think the silent treatment is it's worse. worse. Yes. Because it is. when you don't yes. talk to me, and what, what, what if I'm a talkative person and I want mm. to be talking to you, I want to be gisting with mm. you, and you just say, mm, we have started again. <laughs> ah, ah. Where's my food? Mm. Ah. So that's what I will endure for 30 years. Yeah. Of course I'm going to bring up a disturbed children. Yeah, of okay. course. Let me hmm. take, let me take um, Engineer Kudayomi. Thanks for calling. You're live. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I want to react uh, to the comment of an earlier caller that said that uh, when men grow older, they become that. I disagree with that totally. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been listening <coughs> to the conversation. And two things I want to say, and my comment is based on these two things, is that when women become more okay. empowered, as uh, Miriam said earlier on. Uh, they, they, there are things that they, 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 they no longer take in the home. They are no longer submissive to the husband. So that might be one of the reasons why this man, marriage crashed. You see, so, and also I want to tell everybody that has to listen. Never we, should a man go to live under the roof of a woman thank you very much okay so he's saying okay. he's thinking that there's a possibility that she's no longer submissive because she's grown older mm. maybe because of her wealth mm. and she's saying that he said that the man shouldn't go and live on the roof, of, roof a woman. of a woman that's another angle mm. but somebody here is saying i think he's even saying that a man's nature becomes deeper with age a kind man becomes kinder mm -hmm. the toxic one becomes more toxic the yeah. only thing that changes men in old age is weakness or illness mm. how about women uh, or age Women, what, do we, what happens? <laughs> no, we are only speaking from the women's angle. And We're not yeah. speaking from the men's no, angle. I would like to know. Uh, there's another, I have another person here for Otsumba Karim. says the right name for marriage should have been manage. Ew, no. Everybody, no. everybody from their own perspective. <laughs> no, but this is Otsumba Karim. Um, perspective says manage because there are twists and turns, <laughs> many curves and many potholes. Yes. So they're lucky just whatever happened, the most important thing is for the duo to leave 
to the fullest of their years ordained by God for each of them peacefully, honestly, a lot are happening in marriages. But for me, it is the marriage that can be endured for three decades, meetings that the rest require perseverance and understanding. Somebody else says... My father used to say... My, my, my father was very negative about marriage. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, for, for someone who married 27 wives, yeah. <laughs> this marriage that is... Yeah, bo, that, you, that is, you have taken wahala and you are looking at it like this. Yeah, 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 wo. Yeah, wo. Oh, yeah, the wo. Sorry, why? Ah, that's that what Fela used to say. <laughs> <laughs> I have another person say they're lucky just have been married for over, 40, over 40 years. They have kids over 40 years old. He's 80 plus yeah, and she's 72 plus. Yeah. It's more than meets the eye. The actual trigger was something she did or from something else or from, I don't know. I don't know what happens, but we all... But, that, but what again, do you call this a good run? Yeah, you've lived. Must you get to the end together? Yeah, together? that's the point I'm trying to make, that must we get to the end I line? Mean. And, you know, must we end it together? Some people we can want say to, but if we, even if it doesn't happen and you run for 30... Uh -uh, and you, you have, have been doing children. one thing for 30 to 40 years. You are a master. Exactly. You try. Hmm. Like, that's another way of looking at it. You try. Master. You're not a failure. You try. Yeah. Yeah. So, not, so let's not, let's not, let's not, mm, let's not cry. Finally, the manager, mm, 30 to 40... You've been with one person. For 30 to 40 years. Don't try. Uh, you need an award for that. You try. Mm. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so, so there's something about... If I need to do 30 better. years now, you will be asking no, no, for an no, award. No, you're not getting no, it. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. no give me an award every, every 10 years. Oh. Give me... Eh, no, it's a, it's a lot. Give me an award every 10 years. My 20 years, you will give me an award on this table. So what I'm trying to say who, is... Who did it with you that will give you an award? Are you proud of you? Our special guest is here. Oh, we have okay. Oh, so, but but, but my, what I'm try, just trying to say is... So that we don't end up calling everything that doesn't work the way we want it to work failure. Because we really do not know at the end of the day, you know, should we not say, okay, they did a good run. We yeah. were expecting them to get to the end, but that's also the... okay. Okay. Do you know what my question will be to end is, is it only perfect marriages that stay? Which marriage is perfect? No, so the, uh, what uh, yeah. Because there is no marriage no. That, is that is perfect. No, no. Yeah. Even birds yeah. quarrel. Mm. Husband and wife birds, they mm. quarrel. Anyway, let, let, let's, let's, let's bring in our See, guest. See, there are more questions than answers. We have a few comments before we For get into this, our right? Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking advocating, protesting, as the arts are meant to be. Lagos is the most visited state in Africa as the fifth largest economy on the continent. Covering the state and its government, it's no me feet, it's a busy beat. We go beyond the cutting of tapes to travel in far into the deep. I want to thank the Lagos State Government for the healthcare facility. To bring stories that cut across all spectrums. A greater Lagos shall be ours. We tell you stories that define our collective well-being as Lagosians. Amadidoja Salamadini, I live in Lagos, inside Lagos. has come to experience the power of faith.
thanks for staying with us. I'm still we're celebrating International Women's Month. So we have with us today an international UK-based gospel artist who started singing in the choir at the age of 12 and mm -hmm. has honed her craft to become the artist that she is today. She receives inspiration from a number of styles of contemporary Afro-Juju to funk and soul, combines a variety of compositional um, elements to form her unique and authentic style. Welcome with us. Ido Eny to the show. Thank you. Good to have you. <laughs> so before we even get into what you do and stuff like that, before you came on, we're talking about uh, Florence Shalakija, who had dissolved her marriage after 30 years, or we found out that her marriage has been dissolved. And we're just trying to understand what, what, what could be going through the minds of these two adults and um, what could break a marriage like that. What are your own thoughts when you heard the news? How did you take it? Marriage just women in Africa. Marriage is quite complex. Yeah. <laughs> Very complex. I mean, uh, they must have their reasons for wanting to part. Um, I overheard um, 30 years. Yeah. Why do you have to finish anyways? You know, if you've run the run for a while and you've been together for that period of time and you feel it's time to part, there must be a very, very good reason to want to do that. Um, it's up to them. I think it's a personal <laughs> thing. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So tell us about your career, what you do. Um, I know you're visiting from the UK. Yeah. How long have you been singing? Tell us a bit about yourself. Yes, yeah, so um, <laughs> I started singing in the choir at the age of 12, nothing serious. <clears throat> and I won't describe myself as a, as a perfect singer. So um, I always say that I'm the type that um, misses everything. But God has found valuable to use, to mm. break, to mold and to use for his own glory. So I wasn't a perfect singer. I didn't have the perfect voice. Mm -hmm. um, at some point in time, I actually lost my voice. I had to go under the knife. I had wow. to do surgery yeah. to get, yeah, to get cysts removed off my vocal cords. Um, I suffered with something called L LPR, which is a um, lapar laparoscopic. It's a kind of acid, refl acid reflux that okay. builds up over, the, over years and sits on the vocal cord. Hmm. So there is tendency for it to be resolved with um, language and speech therapy, but in my own case, sadly, it has to be, it had to be removed. Wow. And um, after that operation, it was mind-blowing. The result was mind-blowing. I've been able to manage my singing and my voice better. That's good. So you don't want <laughs> the it? acid reflux anymore? I still do, but now I can manage it. At that time, I did not know the essence of Oh, how important your voice is to you as a singer, as a speaker, mm -hmm. especially when you use your voice quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I was just going, I was just singing, I was scream. I was always compensating for sound. So I go to places where I couldn't hear my, myself back. And I'll try to compensate by screaming and shouting. And what happens is your vocal cords are meant to be like rubbing against each other very smoothly but when you don't use them right they go like bang 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 mm -hmm. and when that happens it tends to like build up like cyst mm. over time when you rest it it resolves but if you keep doing that like four or five times in a, in a week it goes into something very thick wow. and that becomes a, um, a cyst but so when that happens after the operation i got knowledge i got wisdom i, I went to classes i started listening to <laughs> i started reading books um vocal training which was quite important which i never did before because i thought it wasn't important i could sing anyway yeah. you know so i took vocal <coughs> training and um yeah so I, I think i do things a little bit better this mm. time. So why did you decide to do gospel music i've always loved Jesus. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I came from a background of um, not so christian world. So I, it was a struggle to find Christ for myself. And I found him. I fell in love with Christ. And it has to be gospel or nothing else. <laughs> so, yeah, I know you have a foundation where you help women. Um, yes. Tell us what I think. We're trying to celebrate women this month. Yeah. Um, tell us some of the work you're doing, not profit work you're doing um, within Nigeria. Yes, yeah, so I came into Nigeria, I came into Lagos last week, and I came September, thank you. Um, we do, we do um, provide skills and, um, for women in the wig making area. So last year, September, we came in to do tweaks, uh, wig tweaks. We empowered 20 women to start their own wig making <coughs> business. And that was a success. So we thought, okay, this year, we might as well do it again. And we did that, we did that um, 
over the period of three days from Monday till ended yesterday. We teach them how to make wigs. We supply all the equipment, everything they need to start their own wig making business. Um, yeah, just to empower them. And over the past six months, we felt we shouldn't just limit it just to wig making. We, could, we might as well just extend it to other trades. So we <coughs> started another foundation called the Twix Hub. And this time, Twix Hub, um, Twix Hub um, provides um, empowerment for women in all trades. Makeup, artistry, fashion designing, uh, soap making, and all. So, but Wig Twix is the first edition. Mm. And that happened September last year and happened three days ago. Okay, so what inspired you to, I mean, leave the UK, to come to Nigeria to do this? I think we are fine in the UK. <laughs> mm. I think we are fine. And I think um, Africa generally needs support. Our women, our African women are still so much economical, socially economically deprived, as much as we are still rising up. But there's still so many women who are still very socially economically de deprived. And it's, I recognized that gap and I feel, well, I think it's time for somebody to do something. Plus, um, wig making is my trade. That's my area of expertise anyway. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go on a short break now. I mean, we just, I mean, we want to just find out a bit about you. Yeah. Uh, but when we come back, we'll move on to our next topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Time has come to experience the power of faith, music, and praise. This is the Max Urban Gospel Chart Show. Chart Show. Every Sunday from 10 a.m., tune in to catch the pulse pounding beat and soul stirring melody that will elevate your faith and leave a lasting impact on your heart. I can tell you that being a parent is one of the biggest reality shows you'll ever produce. Hi. Oh. Yeah, as cute as they can be, even you need to take a break to take care of some of the other realities of life. And that's why the TVC staff crush is put together to help parents just like me get those professional childcare services that we need. Come on, let's go, let's go. The TVC staff crush baby lounge team of professionals are here to help take a load off your mind. The TVC Star Crash is a nursing mom support system, a toddler's safe haven, and a young learner's academy throughout the year. It's comfortable, convenient, and with competitive pricing for the modern parent. So, while they learn through play, you can go about getting your pay. The TVC Star Crash, open to the public from 7 a.m. to Thanks for staying with us. We still have our guests with us. Um, so our next topic is about another video that went viral. So we saw a video of a, a, um, a wedding where a brother or brothers put money together to gift their sister a car on her wedding day. Now, everybody will think, okay, it's a gift. But many came on social media to say that it's, in fact, one particular person said it was wrong and it was in bad taste for you to give your sister, who at the reception is now missing somebody. She's now one with her husband, with her spouse. That it is wrong for you as a brother or brothers to give her a car. So what are you trying to start here saying that, oh, the car is yours? We see this happen a lot at weddings where 
during the reception, the father of the bride says, I give you a house, I give you a car, I give you this. And people are thinking, okay, why would you give her and not them? It should be their car and not her car. What are your thoughts? Uh, let me tell you, BC, start with you. <laughs> Which one is dear? Inside the matter, I bought something for my sister. What's dear? They are yeah. married now. So? Two has become one. And so? So she should forget her identity because the two have become one. It's a gift. Uh, Take it as a gift. Um, I want to do something nice for you, and this is the gift. Okay, if he had wrapped a uh, afelenkoa inside wrapper, breakable plates, would, would they have made noise about it? Uh, it's a gift as well. If he had brought a refrigerator or maybe pots. vacuum cleaner or pots, uh, would we have been having this conversation? No, it's a gift. So the same way afelenkoa is a gift, that's the same way a car is a gift. Afelenkoa. Why uh, is your insecurity <laughs> being hit? At the point that they are presenting your wife, you should be you should be the one to even stand up and say, "Baby, baby, let's go and see your car." That's how it should be. Why are you taking it personal that they should have presented it to both of you? No. Can I ask you? They the are question? gifting their blood something Can for I ask that you day. This question. Yeah. Enjoy it. Can I ask, ask you this me. question? Ask what me. if the guy doesn't have his own car? Uh, no, that's how is different... that supposed to be? And I'm just, you see because. We've just finished one topic yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. about uh, maybe the man felt insecure or maybe somebody called and said, don't live in a woman's house. Now, are they not going to start their marriage on the wrong footing because he will start less than her if he doesn't have a car? If he has a car, well, it's fine then. But if... For why can so you think we are constantly I, massaging the ego yes, of the African of the men? Which one? Well, not how we just let's go, let's just not, let's not be like don't that. Buy a car yeah, so that as, we are constantly we are the problems. We yeah. women, we are constantly massaging the egos of the African man to say, Oh, you are the you are the head of the step house. Down, so so you have to step down. Is shine. it possible that that's what we're doing right now? But that's you do it all the time. Yeah, so I'm just saying no. should we continue you, to do, you it? do it. You do it as a normal thing. Because a submissive wife. Even in your religion. <laughs> when you say God, God is a man. Mm. Is God not a man? Uh, no, God, is a so, uh, no. God is a spirit. No, but you refer to God as He. You refer to God as He. He. This is win. You are right. You are right. So already you are going to put yourself in that submissive yeah. position yeah, already. by saying, "My God, I worship you. You are a man." So you are the representative. You, my husband, are not the representative of God. To me, man. because you are he mm -hmm. as well. Okay, let me let my hear my yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I think Waki just you know made it clearer for me. So it's not about the gift; it's about whether the man is richer or poorer. Because <laughs> if they were very rich people and they had yeah. come and had given a gift, it would be a problem. Yeah. I mean, she was what well, she was marrying a really wealthy person, and her brothers came together and said, so that they will not say we too, we did not do anything. We have mm. put and given you a car. So they are just different because we don't know the context or the circumstances. Yeah. For me, it seemed when I saw it, I did not understand what the what the issue was because I just thought it was a sweet gesture. Her brothers had put money together, probably even as a surprise, mm -hmm. like let's gift her a car. What if the husband has many cars and they just thought we'd like for you to go home with this car? Uh, I come from a place where when a woman is going to her husband's house, she carries nearly everything, even bed, even, you know, different things. And if she does not bring it with her, it some people will look at you a certain way. Yeah. And it shows that, see, we, I'm not coming from nothing. Where I'm coming from, we have, you know. No, but it's affecting your husband's No, no, no. We don't know. No, no, no. We don't know that in this situation. I can imagine. Can I read one can of I? the comments May before you finish? Okay. It says, don't mind the useless family. What an intimidation on their special day. Look at the lad's face. He is already de devastated. Oh, wow. I swear, I'll walk out of, of all that and they should... Yeah, also mind reading. Okay. Okay. No, no, mind no, no, reading. no, 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 it's not about mind reading. I now know exactly who this person is. This person that put down that text is probably not able to afford a car yeah. himself. Mm -hmm. And he sees it because he has not put himself in that situation. And he sees, see, he's looking at it only from his own perspective, recognizing I'm not, if I were in that position, I'm not the man who may have enough. Mm -hmm. um, I would be intimidated by a gift that's been brought together by her family. So that is a, another person who lives in so much opulence, opul yeah. largesse, yeah. would be wondering, Oh, why did they get such a tiny car? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it's, they are just different depending yeah, on the content. But I don't think that is true. Let me hear those views. Right? Yeah, I'll come back to you. <laughs> what, what, what are your thoughts on this? I think there's some form of intimidation, definitely. Wow. And there might even have been beef somehow between... <laughs> Like the, fight. These, the, the husband and the family, and they just want to show you, like, okay, you think 
we want to show you who we are. I, I, I beg to be indifferent because um, I feel a wedding gift should be for both of them. Thank you. Because it's a wedding gift. Uh. Not like I totally saw what. Ah, you won't. It, it's it's um. <laughs> when they give people it's blender, do they put the substance? Still, it doesn't. It's not the substance. It's just the fact that they're now married oh, and they've they become common. one. And the occasion is for both of them. Oh, wow. Not just one person. Okay. So, so every. I came from the south. South south now, close to the east, right? Yeah. And when you're sending of your daughter. Yeah depending on the capacity of the family. Like she mentioned, you send them with a lot of, they give you yeah. a lot on your, they present it on your wedding day. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of gifts. Now, these people may have the means yeah. to say, okay, let us add car to the motor that we're going to be sending. And then you mm. say, uh, they well. shouldn't have presented it. So I think men now need to begin to deal with themselves mm. and yeah. their insecurities, yeah. right? Yeah. Because if you are, Coming into the marriage with the mindset of we are a team, yeah, that well, shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem because it's our car. Whether you are the one that God decided to bless first or I'm the one God decided to bless first, it's our car. We're mm -hmm. using the car together. We're going to be betting kids. We're going to do school runs with the car together. It's our car. Mm -hmm. What if so, she's the kind of woman say, please, please, don't, don't enter my car. No, she can't <laughs> no, do that. No, no, no. Yes, 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 no, 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 the car should have been presented to both of them. It's because that no. is because don't start problem before they even start. Why, why, no. why are we why? assuming there's problem? Problem. Thank you. Because it okay. depends on who we're talking about. The, yeah. the person that saw that <laughs> saw the man, the man will just the that's, woman this scene. The woman was dancing. See, that person is talking to you. Let them show the video. The woman was dancing. <laughs> yes. The woman was dancing. Yes. The man was just walking behind. <laughs> 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 Let's watch the video. Let's watch the video. Okay. <laughs> Same we'll see his face now and see if he's <laughs> Okay. Even <we'll>, if he's Mumbai. Family, family, No, that's how I agree. That's how he's facing. That's he did not look intimidated to me. All. I think we we're, were just trying to read. Put, okay. Yeah, we're, 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 yeah, we're putting ideas into people's heads, and mm. I don't like we tend to do that to all these wedding videos. This man could have just been happy for her. And also, really showed it. secondly, secondly, this is a woman, she's getting married to her husband. She knows his status, she knows mm -hmm. his circumstances. Yeah. If she felt for any reason that it would have been an intimidation or my brothers are trying to prove a point, she may not have gone out. She'd be like, thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Why are we assuming that this adult female mm -hmm. that is getting married to this adult does not have the presence of mind to understand if an intimidation is happening or, look, or if they're trying to use her wedding yeah. to, to, you know, to, to show, up her, show up her husband. I don't believe this. I think it's just a personal gift. If we go back traditionally to how women would go to their homes, yeah. I, can just wow. Im I, I can't imagine if there was one traditional African man that said, do you know how many goats they sent her with? They sent her with 15 goats because they are trying to show that me I don't have goats. You know, it's because it's a car. And we see a car as a symbol of, you know, so much wealth have arrived. And we think yeah. that it has to be a way to intimidate the so man. So Why the man like bought her land before she even got to that wedding? to YK's side for a second. Because if, if we look at it the other way, if the man and the brothers had come and said, talking to the husband, we have, as a family, we're gifting your wife a car. So they're handing the key over to the husband. Mm. Oh. That as you, as you are the head of the family, it's the wife's car. <laughs> We've come together to give our sister a car. And because you're our husband, we're handing you over the key. So, that, so he's leading he the, 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 the family. So yes, it's her car, but we give the man the key. Just a symbolic to, to yeah. show that's the also, symbol that's also to show the leaders me and yeah, that's that's also, I'm saying so he now stands up with his wife to take her to her new car 
which the brothers have If I was a man, I would feel insulted exactly. by that. Uh, if I, I were the man, I would feel insulted. Why are you giving me a seat? Yes. Can I ask you this? But I'm not, so I don't Because you, you all say, uh, when they give a microwave, I mean, what's that? The blender. Blender. Yeah. blender. Now, when they give blender, do they write for Mrs. Longe or Mrs. Ubu? Or do they write Mr. and Mrs. Ubu? Or Mr. and Mrs. Longe? Mrs. Longe no. When they get, no, they yes. put it's Mr. Mrs. and Mrs. Mrs. Ah, Mrs. 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 We give, they don't put Mrs. They when they are giving Mr. and Mrs. Even if they put or they don't put, when they give you wristwatch, they will give you male and female together. Hmm? Yeah. If they can only yeah, afford one, one resource, mm. they will buy the male and then they will let buy you blend. They won't let you jump. Let me let you like it, please. So you want to say something? It's why can't you be see? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, I, I think I still stand on the fact that it's a wedding and it's, it's supposed to be for both of them, really, honestly. <laughs> Let me say, Nima, Nima is speaking here. Okay. Nima is always in her house resting. The car <laughs> she was supposed should, to be here today. She said the car should be have been presented to both of them at the yeah. wedding ceremony because or privately if it's for her sister only. It's a yeah. wedding, not a birthday. Okay, so do we yeah. know, so do now, even know if this mm. surprise that they planned Nima, had they plan they plan with the husband, husband. They planned with the husband. <laughs> The husband did not seem surprised. You okay, cannot be well, planning yes. a, 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 that kind of gift and no family member is aware. They have planned it with the husband. Yes. That we're gifting, we have decided to buy a car for our sister. You took a drink. Yes, I So he's he knows. He doesn't look unhappy. He, 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 he doesn't look unhappy to me. He didn't look shocked. He looks. He said. He knew. He was in the know. You can plan it with a drink to step down. He said, step down. He said, they don't put bicycle for my leg. when you want to plan birthday for Madame Moriah, for instance, and you want to surprise her, we, you must get a buy-in of the husband yeah. to yeah. surprise her. Yeah. So that day he won't come and be doing oh, because he already knows. He may have even been the one that went to pick up the car. Yeah. Uh, the well, it's okay, I know this exactly did, what but this car did. Man did not no, I disagree. He didn't look very excited. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. it's not surprise. And do you know how he long didn't they look happy no, no, now. No, 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 no. It's their wedding day. Some people are stressed by their wedding yes. day. Please, 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 don't put any... The only thing, the only thing, because for my personal, for my preference, personal preference is... I am not the sort that would like a show off of this. Mm. So, yes, I would agree that this would have, should have been done privately. Really, yeah. But I understand that there are some people that do things like this. They love the grand gesture. Yeah. They love that. They think she would, she's the sort of person that would love that sort of thing. Yeah. She was surprised with the car on her, on her wedding day. Now, let me even blow your mind. I've heard that there are some people that arrange their own surprise things. Well, <laughs> I want you to surprise me on my birthday. I want you to surprise me and do this, put this together and let it be a surprise. I am in the know. So some people do that. I mean, but I think that we should look at this positively. Brothers and husbands have come together to surprise a, a, a bride on her wedding day. It just adds color and more flavor to a wedding. What if a father you know, <coughs> says, yeah. comes to that wedding and says, I'm handing my daughter a house. Uh -huh. You can now choose to give, put the name in your husband, whatever, but I am giving you this house. House key. Is it wrong for a father to give his daughter a house for her wedding gift? Of course not. I, I think it depends on the relationship before the, before the wedding or the marriage mm -hmm. itself. If there was a good relationship between the, between the husband and the wife and the family, I don't think there would be an issue. So, okay, let's just imagine the, 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 the relationship between your father and your husband-to-be is not really fantastic. <coughs> They're just yeah. very deceitful. So you, will you reject a house from your father on your wedding day. I'll probably tell my dad not to do that. Yeah. Because I know that it's going, my husband will feel insecure. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably, and I don't want to start my wedding um, or my marriage on that note. Thank, Thank you. Do you. Would not marry somebody that will be feeling insecure? That no, I go, no, 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 no. My family, it, no, 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 I'm just it, saying. So no. I've seen men who, it doesn't matter to yeah, them, but, right? I know there are a few, but they're there. Anyone, uh, anyhow the blessing is coming, it's coming to us and we're going to make the best use of it. We, let's thank this person for giving us this. Thank this person for giving us that. It is for us. And yeah. I also have the wisdom not to rub it in his face that it's me. I'm separating things in the house. Oh, this is my car. And this is my house. Okay, what if you kid. don't have that no, wisdom? No, but I have. I'm just How saying. You have? So because you have. I have the wisdom, I will not marry somebody who will be insecure that somebody gave me, that my brother gave me a car. And I would pick from my own, you know, you, are, you, you attract who you are, so, so to speak. You see, mm. instead so, of us, wait. So instead of us trying to be robbing or maybe trying to manage the ego of our husbands should we re-educate them or orientate them so in accepting these things this certain way that okay this gift is for us because it's a lot of men have that mentality that listen don't rub it in my face mm. yeah 
But should we therefore continue with them the thinking, or should we or change, change their mindsets? Okay, so you, you mindset. know you mentioned about the relationship before the day of the mm -hmm. wedding. And adults, we're not children. We know when something is meant mm -hmm. to go to you, something is mm -hmm. meant to make you look uh, uh, bad. Yeah. And <clears throat> a woman, a wife, or the bride getting on the day would be able to tell. And you see that in those cases, the, the response may be different. She may not show the excitement, yeah. you know. She may grab her husband's hand yeah. and they will go to see the thing together and just look at each other. And then there's some people who are even motivated by it. They'll be like, oh, so your brothers think they can show you. No problem. Okay, then they'll wait no. for, don't worry, we'll retaliate. Yeah, no. Then on your birthday, he <laughs> gives you three cars. And then dashes them a few bicycles to go home with, you know. So some people will take it and, you know, run with it and be motivated by it. But if it was really about showing him up, then uh, that is wrong. Why would you want to do that to your own sister's wedding? Mm -hmm. But I don't believe that that was the case no, in this, unless we hear, you know, a oh, story directly from behind, them. Yeah. But sometimes it is just for fun. It is just to add color. It's just for people to be excited and happy. Look at her. She looks so happy. I'm sure her groom is looking <laughs> at her. Look at see he's how not looking happy see, now. See, oh, how, see how beautiful my wife looks. See how happy she looks. Look. She's not looking happy. I don't no, agree. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you see in the picture all our friends they, they, no they, remember this, they is, this, is, no, this is one person's point of view from their camera you don't know who if his friends took another point of view well, you know and we don't know hey, this let us don't say ourselves. Ourselves. okay this is for sake of argument and our yes. men that's it I to think, have yes. confidence yes to understand yes. that life is not about what you have mm. yes it's about the content that's within yes and the ability to be to to accommodate and show compassion yes. mm. and and when the blessings are coming, whoever antenna is higher will receive first fall on behalf of all of us. Mm. So if we raise our, uh, uh, our children us, that way, yeah. we will not get to a point where we are, they are going to be intimidated that somebody gifted their partner something. Because even women sometimes feel bad when maybe the husband's family wants to give something and they put the man's name. Maybe they are giving a house. To the man, do they put the daughter in law's name? No, they don't. They put the man's name, they are the yeah. man. They put the man's oh. name. And why don't we it. go and hang ourselves? You, you, that they did not put our name inside the house. You, as you have said it about men, mm. you will say the same thing about women. Of course. Let us train our women to not to intimidate their husbands Man. with their property if they have more property or more. No, no, or no, more. no. And yeah, also, yeah, I also, listen, also, mm. the most important, I think, is the sharing. Mr. and Mrs. Murayo, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Femi Afolabi Brown. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Obiajulu, no, uh, your husband's hey, name, Ubo, yes. Uche Ubo. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Tokumbo Longe. Mr. and Mrs. Sharing. Mm -hmm. If you do not learn to share from now, eventually you will now start. Point of correction. So yes. it's Mr. Share. and Mrs. Tokumbo and Miriam Longe. Exactly. That and anybody, the lawyer, the lawyer, Nima has told us that if your name is not inside, then it's not for <laughs> I, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Even so like, if your name is not, not inside, mm. so it has to be Mr. and Mrs. Mm. The name uh, Uche and, and Obiajulu. Who are we yeah. putting Mr. the body and on to share? The mm. person giving or the people receiving? The, the body should not be it. on the yeah, exactly. The body should not be on the person giving. This person has hey, given. But this one was yeah. given to only one person. Mm -hmm. now. They have given. The person that is supposed to now See, ensure I've seen the where, sharing. Listen, is I've the people who received it. I've seen where the chairman of the wedding. He's sleeping with the wife. Hey, why can't you? Why can't you? Why can't you? Put these funny, funny, funny angles. Why can't you be bringing? Please, 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 please. Uh, uh, I've seen. Don't oh, be. Listen. Look, I know I'm not more reasonable. I've seen where the it. chairman is sleeping with the wife. Huh? And he will come and give the wife the car. Hey, what should the man do? Collect no, that. Don't that marry because her. Because she doesn't even know. Exactly. Doesn't even know that the man is sleeping with her. Uh -huh. I say I've seen it. I, I'm <laughs> sorry. I can't be 63 and not have seen all these things now. Okay. So that means that she's not supposed to be married. She's not it's supposed so to be marrying a man. She knows that she has a boyfriend. That even slept, the, the German even slept with his wife oh. the day before the wedding. Okay, I want, I want to do that if I shouldn't be you shouldn't be talking about it. No, we, we, that, that is the problem with Nigeria. We don't like to bring out this food. We like to be hiding things. Let's bring it out. So that's why I say, please give it Mr. and Mrs. 
Even okay, okay. So, um, the chairman who can do Mr. and Mrs. does it matter? Does it eat uh, 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 from uh, Mr. and Mrs. Is not an emo phone? <laughs> because if you give it to only Mrs., Mrs. will say, I worked for it. <laughs> and she worked for it. <laughs> so please, this is my car. Let me, let me have Don't step inside now. this let car. Me, let, me, let me give you a moment to come in. Why are you lying to me? Why are you lying to me? I will not let I'm you. I'm serious. I think I totally <laughs> agree with you that um, <laughs> it, 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 we should train our men. Yeah. Between our boys, yeah. and I, I, I feel if boys, um, if our boys are well trained from when they are very young, yeah. they will take care of the women. Yeah. And all honors lies on the men to, as much as we want, we want to believe that, well, they say the women are the pillars of the home, they hold the home, but it, it, all, it all goes down to the men. If you treat your woman well, the woman will receive <clears throat> you properly. She will receive you with all submission. So we need to train our boys. Yeah. Um, I, comments on social media. I was going to also say that is it not a does this, isn't it funny also for the brothers if they thought that they were using it to show up the husband and the car gets home and the woman hands over the key the for key. the man to be mm -hmm. driving the car up and down. Mm -hmm. Who lose? You lose. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving the car now. <laughs> yeah. okay, let's take a few comments and then we wrap up on this. Uh, Mount Rushmore says, I mean, they will not move into... Okay, they, they were arguing about if a house is being gifted to you know, the couple. Some people said the man would refuse to move in. Omo Shalewa says, no, which one is Mr. and Mrs.? Brother, buy sister a car. And is that a problem? There's actually no issue here. Uh, Miss R says, so where did you get the impression he's upset about it? Did he confine that to you? <laughs> <laughs> Please help us ask I mean, that. Tipi says, what if it is a private jet? It will be handed over to the bride's father-in-law. Mm. Uh, one dynamic said, the car is from her sibling to her. The man seems confident and not intimidated. At all. That that's how it should be. All right, we have to wrap up. Let me let's do okay. um, just oh, time the final, 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 what you're working on and what, what you like um, us to support you with. Yeah, so at the moment, I'm um, still working on, on, um, on, on the empowerment program. And um, I would like you ladies to please just give us a shout out. Um, let people know what we're doing. Um, we, tend, we intend to at least empower like 100 women in a year. Mm. And that's, that will cut across not just Nigeria, but Africa um, as a whole. Well done. Good, well done. Well done. Well done. All right, that's all we can take on today's show. Uh, Waki, you have a few comments? No. You have a few comments? It's only 50. Okay, Waki. Okay. Waki. Waki is back. She wants to make up for the five Waki, weeks. Mrs. What? Eh? You're not Mrs. Anybody now. I'm Miss. You're Miss. Mm. It's Miss. 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 I'm Miss. proud of it. Miss. Miss Cutty. Miss Cutty. Oh, I forgot something. I'm Sorry. Um, my single is coming out and oh. it's called No Gragra. Oh, wow. okay. And there's a dance routine, a TikTok dance routine. Wow. So, yeah. If you guys can. Yes, yes, No Gragra. Yeah. Congratulations. Good day. Why can No Gragra? <laughs> it just came now. You started grand grand. <laughs> and, and I was very quiet. I was very Mikey, quiet. Was you so quiet. Quiet. I just you were quiet. It's only white kid. Until you this entire world. It's only white kid that will know a chairman that is sleeping with the bread. You don't understand. I've never heard. Life. And now saw and them then, a day before hey, the day. Hey, I don't understand. White kid, you're just very special. <laughs> I have okay, never in my life. Like, people like who saying it is that they have heard it before. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. Everybody has heard, but no one has seen. And no, no one is the now. chairman, and no one is the bride that is sleeping with the chairman. Uh -huh. They only hear, hear, hear. Uh -huh. But yeah, why can't I see? I see that we see. It's only kind of peace. Well, let us go, Jai. We have to run. No other comments. We have to run. We have no other comments. Come yeah, good. Okay, I think really, pretty much, in a nutshell. Uh, like, no comments. You go ahead, Waiki. The truth is true. Damilola, the brother was playing smart and safe. Mm-hmm. Moses Ade says, Auntie YK, you are the eldest and you have spoken well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is all we can take on oh, today's show. Me. Hope you learned a few things as we have. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye. Mm.